Sometimes people ask what an array CGH is. Imagine a great big supermarket. Each of the millions of cells inside your body shops in the supermarket. Each cell shops for a different combination of products depending on what type of cell it is, how mature it is, and its job in the body. Scientists call the shelves in the supermarket chromosomes. Everyone's supermarket shelves are stocked a bit differently. Sometimes the shelves have empty sections. These empty sections are called chromosome deletions. In other areas, the shelves can be overstocked, making the products difficult to get off the shelf. These overstocked sections are called chromosome duplications. Empty and overstocked sections can make it difficult for some cells to get the products they need, which can make it harder for them to do their job in the body. An Array Comparative Genomic Hybridization Test, or an Array CGH test for short, is a clever way of doing a stock take of the entire supermarket. For each section of each shelf, a scientist compares the number of products they see to what they have seen across the supermarkets of a large number of people in a general population. When a scientist sees a deletion or duplication that is seen in many people in the general population, it is probably harmless and we don't need to know about it. When a scientist finds a deletion or duplication that is not seen in anybody in the general population, they measure its size and look at what products we would expect that shelf to contain. They also look at information from hospital laboratories around the world to see if anyone with a similar deletion or duplication has been described before and whether they had any health problems. Scientists put all of this information together to predict whether the chromosome change is going to affect the cells doing their shopping and ultimately their ability to do their jobs. An array CGH is important because studying how the products are organised in our supermarket can help us understand the combination of characteristics that make us all unique.